uh, the vexed question of monogamy. Uh, it turns out that we human beings uh, fall into that 3% of mammals category who are, in fact, mono monogamous. Birds are very good at it, uh, but mammals, generally speaking, are not. So one asks the question, why? Why is monogamy uh, evolutionary uh, a good strategy? Uh, Kit Opie. Uh, is an anthropologist at the University College of London and has thought about it a bit. Good morning, sir. Good morning. You are a genius. You have conjoined two words and gone absolutely viral in the news, monogamy and science. <laughs> uh, in your view, uh, why is monogamy a reasonable evolutionary strategy? Well, it's a very unusual one for, for mammals, as you rightly point out, but primates do it more. Right. So um, including us uh, and uh, gibbons in Southeast Asia uh, and a lot of little monkeys in South America all, all have decided to become monogamous. And that's a, that's a big puzzle. Oh, well, uh, part, of, part of the puzzle here is that we, we are somewhere between chimpanzees and bonobos, and bonobos are not monogamous, and chimpanzees are. No, neither. Neither of them are. They're both, um, they're both very promiscuous. So they, uh, the way they, they do things is that females mate with all the males in the group. Right, which would um, be a good uh, evolutionary strategy, wouldn't it? It is indeed uh, because that protects their infants from infanticide because if all of the males within the group have some idea that they might be the father of that infant, then they're not going to harm it. Right. That could, um, that could be my child. I won't kill it. Exactly. Okay. Um, but amongst other primates and certainly uh, humans as we were evolving, um, infanticide is a really big problem. Um, and another strategy, um, as, uh, as good as the way that chimpanzees and bonobos do it, is to become monogamous. And we think that's what humans did. Um, that um, for, since the uh, evolution from the common ancestor with chimpanzees and bonobos about five or six million years ago, at some point along that route, uh, early humans decided to become monogamous. Oh. And the, the real benefit of that is that then once males were sticking around to, uh, to protect their infants from other males, they could then start to care for them and provision them, give them food uh, and look after them. It could be argued, I suppose you've touched on this in what you've looked at, that infanticide itself is an evolutionary strategy because if, if I kill somebody else's child, there's more of me. That's very true. And uh, it's, it's not only for that reason, um, but it's also that in, in species where uh, brain size is large, development is slow. And it's that slow development of infants that makes them particularly vulnerable mm -hmm. because while, while females are lactating or breastfeeding uh, their infants, they don't return to ovulation. And uh, so a, a rival male can come in, kill an infant, and the female will then immediately return to ovulation. So it's, it's a very good strategy for that male um, because then he has a chance to mate with her and then his genes will get passed on uh, into the next generation. But for the female, of course, it's a disaster. And so in some species, including humans, um, uh, the females look to a male, probably the father of the, of the infant, that's the, the most sensible person to look for, um, and and get him to do the protecting with her. Right. I always wondered what my job was. Just by the way, um, you assert that uh, uh, when uh, when breastfeeding you can't get pregnant. That would be generally true, but not universally true. Yes. It's not. Com it's not completely so. But but while breastfeeding is taking place, hormones uh, are, are 
produced which suppress the return to ovulation. Right. Uh, it, it's, 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 it's not advised as a means of uh, birth control, generally speaking. No, absolutely, <laughs> uh, absolutely not. But it, it's, a, it's an evolutionary way to make sure that a female is not overburdened with having to breastfeed two babies at the same time who are different ages. That's, that's a, a real impossibility for her because the, the breast milk is particularly designed for the particular ages of the, of the baby. She can't have two different age babies at the same time. Uh, twins is hard enough. So uh, I wouldn't encourage anybody to do this, but there is a pathway there whereby if you kill the child, uh, the mother stops lactating and hence starts ovulating, and you can get on with the business uh, all the more quickly, yes? Exactly. Yeah, in a nutshell, you've got it. Yeah. I wish I didn't, quite frankly. <laughs> it's sort of, it's sort yeah, of a bit chilling not, in its way, isn't it? It is. It's not the most romantic reason for uh, a, a male and a female to get together. I, I grant you that. Yes. Uh, that's that's a little unfortunate. Uh, it's, um, it's not at this stage. It's not included in wedding vows, as far as I know. I, I don't think so. <laughs> I mean, if. If there's any any sort of uh, light at the end of the tunnel, once once monogamy does evolve, then that allows males to get more involved in in looking after the infants um, and in humans uh, actually providing those infants with food. Um, and we think that might have been the reason why uh, human brain size was able to increase as much as it did. Human brains are, are four times the size of our closest relatives, the chimpanzees and bonobos. And it may well be that it was that male input that allowed those very large brains in, in humans to arise and why we have now the complex culture uh, that allows you and I to talk over uh, thousands of miles yeah, yeah. on this well, I, I, thank you for uh, for the study. I, I've always wondered why I didn't kill my children, and now I have a reason. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for talking to us. Well, thanks, thanks very much. It's a particular pleasure because half of my genes are Australian, so it's, it's really nice to be talking to you this morning. Well, why am I not surprised that an Australian would go down <laughs> this path in studying? Thank you very much.